Welcome back to Lick Branch Farms. Today, I just got home from work a few minutes ago. And uh, the plan is this weekend, we are going to finish harvesting the rest of our bobcat cabbage. I'll turn these sprinklers on a little bit for a little while. Um, anyway, we have been taking some of this cabbage out the garden slowly but surely. And, uh, you know, we've been frying it. And uh, a couple of days ago, me and my wife, we made 15 quarts of sauerkraut and uh, you can see that it's some pretty good sized gaps out here but anyway there's about i think there's 11 head left and we are going to take some of it and make chow chow with so we got to do something because we've had several really really cold nights um over the past couple of weeks i mean down into the uh the 20s we haven't hit the teens yet but you can see the broccoli i mean it is taking its toll on even the broccoli leaves and we don't have many heads of broccoli left out here but i am going to harvest the rest of these maybe today i don't know i may do it tomorrow but i'm gonna harvest the rest of the broccoli because you can see i mean they're ready and uh we're gonna blanch those and put them in the freezer i'll um vacuum seal those and put them in the freezer and there's some that actually did make side shoots and you can see um there's another one. There's another one. Some of them did make side shoots. So I know in an earlier video, I said I wasn't impressed with the side shoot, but I mean, they're trying. Anyway, um, my main focus today, I'm gonna get four heads of cabbage and put it up in the barn, in the refrigerator in the barn and have it ready for tomorrow. Go ahead and let it get good and chilled. Um, like I said, this cabbage has been hit with several, I'm gonna say at least four um, nights that's been in the lower 20s i know monday night it was 26 degrees when i got up so um and it's still doing great and we've eaten some of this fried and it is absolutely jam up man i mean it's sweet cabbage um you know the old timers say it gets hit with a frost or freeze uh, it sweetens it up so in this case on the bobcat cabbage it, it definitely does so um the bobcat cabbage will be a do-over in the spring and in the fall next year along with several other varieties we're gonna be working with. But for right now, we are, I gotta see if I got my shears on back at the golf cart. I'm gonna go ahead and cut these uh, these heads here. And you can see, I mean, the wet, the cold weather is just, just taking its toll. These things are, um, the heads are good and firm and are not split, but the leaves, they just, uh, you know, they can't take so much. A little bit. So what I'm gonna do now is go down through here and harvest some of these heads. Um, Really, what all I do is I push the outer leaf back, and then I pull the head down a little bit to where I can get the shears in, and I go right across the bottom, and cut them. And this, uh, you can see the water pouring out of it, but this uh, head here, a couple pounds maybe, I mean, three pounds, four pounds maybe. But uh, I'll come out here in just a little bit, and I'll get this stuff here, and feed them to the chickens and to the, uh, to the goats. I love it. But, yeah. This is about average size. There has been some that was, I mean, almost twice as big as that one there, but they don't get this one. While I'm out here, I'm gonna go ahead and get the rest of this broccoli and be done with it. I'll have that part over. That way we can blanch it all at once. Here. One of those side shoots. If Jace was here, he'd be eating these dudes. You're gonna love broccoli. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to run up here and get me something to put all this in. I've got the uh, 
sprinkler running and it was going to, I knew it was going to warm up for a couple days tomorrow. I think today it's got 72. Tomorrow's supposed to be in the 70s again. So I wanted to turn sprinklers on these strawberries and uh, give them a little boost, pep them up a little bit. We planted, Jason and I got out here a couple days ago and planted two more rows of radishes and his puppy's been in my garden. I can see her little footprints everywhere. And I noticed yesterday also that we've already got elephant garlic trying to pop out. You can see right here, right there, 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 and if it goes on down the line. And if this weather keeps up, the uh, the chestnut red will be popping out the ground also. I can imagine. I know we're going to be heading in some cold weather next week. And uh, I say cold, I'm talking 30s and 40s. Um, but, you know, with the, the weather that we've had, I'm very surprised that this broccoli has done as well as it has. Um, but, like I said, we're not going to take any chances. I got time to get it put up. So we are. Gonna spend some time this weekend put this in the freezer. Uh, we'll blanch it, vacuum seal it, and it'll be good for whatever we want to use it for. We, uh, my wife made a broccoli casserole for Thanksgiving. Man, that thing was awesome, and it was out of this fresh broccoli straight out of the garden. So makes a difference. And I think I got it all. I'll come through here as I pull these plants up, and uh, like I said with the cabbage, I'll be feeding this to the chickens and the goats. Um, a little bit alone they could probably eat you know one good plant a day no problem so I may ration that out and uh, let them utilize it that way kind of supplement a little bit of feed I mean every little bit helps but for right now I'm gonna take these cabbage and this broccoli for the morning and put it in the refrigerator yeah take a look at this this what I just got done cutting out of the garden. So that's a mess of broccoli. By the time we break it down and get everything cleaned up and cut all the shoots off, that's gonna make a pretty good bit of broccoli to put up for the winter. And, uh, yeah, it will get utilized many different ways, I promise you. My wife will come up with something to cook it with. And uh, like I said, that broccoli casserole she cooked last week was good. Uh, we are looking forward to another one of those pretty soon. But yeah, garden's looking kind of thin now anyway. I mean, look out here, we got some Chinese cabbage, which I need to start doing something with that. I planted it just to experiment with it because I've never grown it before, but this stuff, um, the 20 degree weather, it doesn't like. I can tell you that because it hit the ground the other day with that frost that we had and it really hasn't recovered. You can see the leaves. I said I'm starting to yellow. And uh, it may be because they're mature, I don't know. But if we get time this weekend, I may harvest a few of them and grill them, see what they taste like. Make some stir fry. I got some deer meat over there I got to cut up. I uh, shot a pretty good buck last Wednesday, day before Thanksgiving. And uh, we processed him, me and Jace processed him last Saturday. And uh, I shot another doe Saturday morning, this past Saturday morning, and I got to process her. She's in the cooler down here in the ice. And I got to, uh, I got to get my my cube steak thing, make my cube steak out of. Yeah, see, it's nice. And uh, I always make cube steak out of my tenderloins. I mean, I do save some for like stir fry, or you know, just make little steaks out of them. Uh, mushroom gravy, a lot of different ways we cook tenderloins, but you know, the best way that I can utilize them so everybody can enjoy them is through cube steak because everybody eats cube steak here. Um, fried in the crock pot with gravy, however you want to cook it. It just, you can't get enough of it. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna turn these sprinklers off. 
while we go and if we get back in time i may start them back up um but yeah glad to have the broccoli out of the way like i said i still got to deal with the plants got some cabbage the, the recipe that i have i think calls for 10 cups of cabbage it doesn't give a weight um it says 10 cups so i'm thinking probably five pounds maybe eight maybe 10 pounds i don't know well i'll weigh it out as we do it to verify the recipe is going to be right and then uh i mean if i need more cabbage i can come there and get it that ain't a problem so there's one two three four five six seven there's seven heads left down here and i've got some uh smaller heads in between that i don't know that's going to make it it's, it's probably going to freeze and kill them uh, here in the next few weeks but yeah i want to try my hand at fermenting um the old traditional way of fermenting cabbage i want to try to do that so i'm going to save a couple of heads and if i have to i'll go buy it but i just know that these this cabbage that i've been working with is good cabbage it's good kraut cabbage and uh i know you know it would turn out pretty good with that so i know next year we'll have uh more to work with definitely because i still got all of that garden over there to deal with i still got all of this garden here to deal with and i got more compost than i know what to do with but <clears throat> i'm bringing the skid steer home with me here in uh maybe in a week or so and it'll make short work of that uh that compost all right guys so um a lot of good things are coming up here in the near future we uh my son and i are going actually to pick up some pigs this weekend um breeding stock Berkshires and I've we've also bought two more gilts for processing um, they aren't weaned yet so we got to grow them out so and those are Berkshire Duroc Hartford Cross so um, five pigs here in the next two weeks and we're not going to keep them here we're going to keep them on my my son's farm or on his land over there he's got a he got a pretty good hog pen over there uh, he finished putting up electric whole nine yards and uh we're going to start with them there until i get my hog lot done hog lot done and we're going to keep breeding stock here at my farm and we're going to do the grow out at his farm um he's got water he's got a pond and he's got uh, creeks running through his hog lot and all that stuff so um we could raise good numbers there whereas here we would have to you know run city water and all that stuff down there and it'd just be easier to do it at his place uh three side or three gilts berkshires uh pretty pigs and uh, the ones that we've got in the next county over will be ready the week of the 15th so two weeks two weeks they'll be ready and then we'll add them to the mix and we'll have five little piglets and that's where all of this i'll call it garden waste it's not really waste but all of the like cabbage leaves and everything that we're not going to utilize all of that good stuff could go to feeding these pigs and that's you know one of the biggest reason that we actually come up he come up with the idea um I've raised pigs in the past and I've been around, you know, processing pigs when I was younger. Uh, my family did it, but it's uh, been a long time. So, but it's definitely something that we did get into. It's, uh, we're losing a lot of our traditional ways and we need to get back to our roots, so to speak. And there's just no beating homegrown pork. You just can't beat it. All right, guys. So I'm gonna get off here, go up here and pick back. So we're gonna go get us a bite to eat, but if you guys haven't already reach over here in this right hand corner and click that subscribe button and click the bell notification so you get notified every time i put out a video as always guys i appreciate you stopping by thank you for watching and i'll see you on the next one